When I was a kid and I saw Peter Pan, I think the way I imagine Neverland is a place where anything can happen. Neverland to me seemed like this fantastic place that you could go to to play and have fun and have adventures and meet all these interesting people like the pirates and the mermaids and the fairies and Peter Pan himself and where you could fly. Neverland is a fantastical world, really born out of our imagination. One of the best things about Pirate Fairy is we got to take the world created in Peter Pan and expand on that. The initial idea was to do a road trip adventure with Tinkerbell and her friends. And the story involved this sort of rogue fairy, a fairy who was experimenting with pixie dust. Whoa, you found orange pixie dust? And we know we wanted her to steal the blue dust and go away, but we couldn't figure out what was motivating her. And John Lasseter got this great idea and he just yells across the room, pirates! <laughs> pirates. We could bring that entire world, introduce it for the first time with our girls from Pixie Hollow and tell this incredible story. From there, it really took off in the direction of incorporating more of the Peter Pan mythology into the story. We got to explore a couple nooks and crannies in Neverland that we hadn't seen before. The seas and the outskirts of Neverland and we took Tinkerbell and her friends inside of Skull Rock so that we could really see what it's like to be inside that huge skull. One of the other great things about the world of Neverland is that everyone has their strengths and the best part of themselves, their courage, yeah! their ability to think on their feet, yeah! their ability to work together. Fairies! They took the blue dust! Seem to come to the forefront inside the walls of Neverland. There's so much there we haven't seen yet. Endless possibilities and endless backdrops to tell fantastic stories of the heart and of imagination.